It was the 1st of January 2004 uh, when I was about 15 years old. I was on holiday with my family and I got up this one morning, it was pretty early, I went to the kitchen, I sat down to have some cereal and I remember my mum coming in through the doorway into the kitchen and I can remember it as clear as yesterday, she had this look on her face and when I saw that look I just knew something bad has happened and then she tried to explain to me in the calmest way she could that she just received the news that our house has burned down to the ground completely. I can remember my spoon dropping from my hand to the floor in that moment and there was just a thousand, thousand things rushing through my mind at that moment and the most of all I was thinking about all of my stuff, everything that I've gathered throughout my life that I had together in my room or somewhere throughout the house and I was so worried about them because now I've lost them forever. We went, eventually we went back to the house to see what was going on and when we got there it was pretty bad, there was very little left of the house. So as we walked through the rubble, I got to this one spot where there used to be a bookshelf but instead of the bookshelf there was now just thousands of burnt pages scattered across the floor. And there was a couple of pages that caught my attention. So as I walked up to these pages, I immediately recognized them from one of my spiritual diaries that I read about two years before that. And as I came even closer, there was this one page that truly caught my attention. It was this page from January the 1st. This was the day that the house burned down. So I picked up the page and I read the scripture of that day which was from Philippians 3 verse 8 and the scripture said what is more I consider everything a loss compared to the greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for whose sake I've lost all things I consider them worthless that I may gain Christ and be found in him and to me this was crazy so I took this page I ran to my parents and I told them, look, look, God wants to give us this message today. And so today I also want to give you this message. I mean, we often get so caught up in all of our earthly stuff and the things around us. And we're living in constant fear of losing them all the time. And it's not only the things that we own, it's often the things that we desire that becomes primary in our lives. I mean... I think many of us spend more time browsing through clothing or sports junk mail rather than reading the Bible. It's strange because I think we rather that want that new car or house or surfboard or dress than have a personal relationship with the living God. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a lot of money, being rich, or having a lot of things around us. But it's essential that we don't get enslaved by them. And the more things we have, the more difficult it comes, becomes to not be enslaved by them. It's like the story in Matthew 19 of the young man that stands in front of Jesus and he asks Jesus, Teacher, what good things can I do to receive the eternal life? And then Jesus tells him about the commandments and he says, yes, Jesus, I know about the commandments. I'm living these commandments. But tell me, tell me more. What can, I, what can I do to receive the eternal life? And then Jesus, he says to him, go back home and sell all of your belongings and give the money to the poor. The man just stood there and he slowly and sadly turned around and he rejected Jesus because he was rich and he had too many things and it was too hard for him to let go of those things. So today I pray that you may have the courage to ask God to give you freedom, to release you from all of the earthly things that's preventing you from focusing on the kingdom of heaven. Because in the end, truly having a relationship with Jesus Christ, the living God, is worth way more than anything 
this earth could ever offer us. I'm Daniel Kutsia, and this is Zone Talks. <laughs>